Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I am your IT career guide. In today's video, I want to talk about the Network Plus certification exam. And I want to talk about study and exam taking tips that will help you to pass this exam and to carry this um, CompTIA certification and hopefully help you to advance your IT career. So let's get started. So what is the Network Plus certification and uh, why should you take it? So Network Plus is a certification from CompTIA. CompTIA is an organization that um, owns several certifications and backs them up. Um, there would be A plus as an example, Security Plus, and of, co uh, of course, Network Plus. So networking is really one of those fundamental knowledges and skill set that everyone in IT should have. It doesn't matter if you're on the help desk, if you're a systems administrator, if you go into programming, of course, if you want to be a network engineer or maybe go into information security, um, understanding the basics of networking is really a critical skill set to have. The Network Plus certification um, backs that up. So as you go through studying for this exam and for the certification, you really go through all the basics in networking that you need to know, be it um, the IP address ranges, how, how you do subnetting, the different network protocols and ports and anything related to networking. You learn the basics uh, to a certain degree and um, you should have a solid understanding of the networking fundamentals when you take this exam. And that's really where the value is. It um, supports your skill set. By itself, it doesn't turn you into a networking engineer. It doesn't turn you into a help desk engineer because there are other skills that you need. But combine this with one or two other certifications and the picture looks really different. So the Network Plus certification by itself, yes, it carries some value. I don't want to downplay it. But if you combine it with a good set of other certification, it really gives you a good solid foundation and shows that you have a good skill set um, for almost any type of IT job. So networking itself can be really challenging. So it's especially if you are not working in networking. So if you're not really configuring routers or switches or firewalls or gateways, um, create subnets and um, think about public IP address space and private IP address ranges and um, really how it all comes together. So it is difficult. And if you have never worked in IT, it's definitely challenging. So the Network Plus certification path really gives you that structural learning so that you can understand really how and everything plays together, what is critical, what is important, and um, what portions are more important in certain areas when you work in information technology. So in my opinion, the networking is one of the more challenging areas information technology. If you fail to understand networking, you will have a hard time to really succeed. So um, make sure that you spend enough time here, ask questions, um, talk to peers or to people that potentially can mentor you, but make sure that you have a good solid understanding of networking and um, it will help you down the road for the long-term success in your IT career. Of course, if you want to work in data centers, um, the cloud or the internet, um, networking becomes even more important. And um, it's a skill set um, that uh, I want to say you never stop learning. So, I mean, we're looking at IP version 4, IP version 6, the differences, then um, anything related um, to wireless networking. So there are so many changes all the time. It might not be all the changes in one year or so, but as you grow and as time goes by, there are so many changes coming and advancements and improvements and changes. Um, it's an area where you need to stay up to date. And uh, if you don't, again, you will fall behind. It will affect your career. So if you have not taken any of the CompTIA exams before, make sure you have a couple of test exams taken before you go for the real thing. And it doesn't matter if that's the A plus certification from CompTIA, the um, Security Plus or the Network Plus. Um, there is a certain style in these certifications and you need to make yourself familiar with it. So make sure you use different study courses and test exams to really get a feel for what type of questions are they asking? What do they expect from me? 
And um, there's also, I want to say, the, the real world. And then there's also the world where CompTIA has a certain expectation of how they want you to answer certain questions. So spend some time not just studying the material, but also going through test exams and um, really understand what is CompTIA looking for and um, why are they asking the question a certain way. So it's very critical. And that, again, will be a skill that will help you with other CompTIA certifications as well. So specific um, exam tips and tricks. So first of all, time management. Uh, it's really, really important that you um, have a good understanding of how the time goes by through the exam. So then there are those uh, PBQ, the uh, performance-based questions. And um, that is really something where you need to understand how these questions work. So you have to look at the test exams and really take a good first person look at them and understand how everything works. So unlike those multiple choice questions, um, these performance based questions are really developed to um, find out what are your problem solving qualities and skills can you resolve the problem and those questions really try to drill down that path and um, make sure that you understand it's not just learning something and, and knowing it by heart but um, understanding how a problem is being solved and working in IT um, you need good problem solving skills so analyze the problem before solving it and make sure that you have all the different pieces uh, considered before responding so if you're not um, able to solve a problem and you're just poking around, um, that doesn't get you anywhere and it will get to you inside those exams and you will fail with these questions. Um, you might not be able to reach enough points um, to pass the exam. So just be aware um, these type of questions and I let you Google certain things. I might make another video about them specifically, but uh, just from a high level, those PBQ, the performance-based questions, are critical to understand how they work and what CompTIA is looking for uh, so that you can solve them correctly. So then when you look at the questions, there are a lot of hints and there are some that are misleading and there are others that really pinpoint. So often what is what you think obvious in that question might not necessarily be important. So if uh, I'm just throwing out some stuff, John Doe works in a hotel and um, there's a new computer and network switch coming in that he needs to configure. And uh, while the hotel is really busy that day, um, he's just um, putting that switch into the uh, data closet, hooking it up to the network and calls it a day. So if you look at that and I am just made this up here on the fly, does it really matter that it's a hotel? No, it does not. It doesn't matter that the hotel is really busy. What matters is that he just throws it, and I put that in, in uh, quotes, into the data closet and calls it a day. Is that how you install a switch? How, how you would expect to install a switch? There is so much stuff missing. So, But um, the obvious part, oh, he works in a hotel. What's different in a hotel? Oh, it's so busy there and so on. So you get the idea, and I'm really exaggerating that a little bit. But look at the obvious hints and um, really try to understand what's going on and uh, don't fall for the misleading information. So when you get to those multiple choice questions, look at all the proposed responses first. Sometimes they give you a hint and you can eliminate one response after another. And even if you don't know the correct answer, just by eliminating the other ones, you might have a much better chance of selecting the correct answer. So um, don't just rush through and don't feel like, oh my gosh, I don't know this. Don't freak out. Really just take a look and look at each answer and try to understand, okay, does it really play a role here? Is that something that you maybe remember? And maybe you can really eliminate uh, several of those and then you have maybe just one or two to choose from and that definitely increases your chances if you don't know a certain response. So make sure you look at all the responses at first, try to eliminate as many as possible and then focus on those that are left. Also, when you go through the exam and you have certain questions, sometimes later on you might just get a hint from one of the previous questions for the one that you're currently working on. So um, I don't want to say they're related, they're most likely not, 
Um, but if there's a certain situation described and you knew exactly what the response was, and now you're looking at a different question, you're seeing the same response in this multiple choice question as an example, you know already, hey, that cannot be right because that was a response previously. So that does not apply. So um, make sure you go through and try to remember because it will help you with moving forward. And then what to focus your studies on really for the Network Plus certifications. So look at the network configurations, abbreviations, terminology, the usual stuff, the usual suspects. Look at connection types, command prompts, and uh, the different commands that you need to use. So what do you use for network troubleshooting? Think about subnetting. It's super challenging if you don't understand it. Um, look at network protocols and network ports. Those are the um, main pieces to look at. So if you have those covered and everything else, it will fall into place. It doesn't mean like, okay, I only study this and I don't care about the rest. Of course, you need to study everything. But if you focus on those and really feel super confident that you can handle those, everything else will be a little easier. So I hope you liked this video. If you have gone through the Network Plus certification exam already and maybe you failed, why don't you post into the comments what you felt really was a challenge or why you failed. And uh, I will be happy to respond wherever I can and uh, hopefully guide you to succeed the next time around. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. I really appreciate it. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.